In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful five options PowerPoint slide. Welcome to my YouTube channel OS VFX. Please like, subscribe and share my channel. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes and select hexagon. Draw the hexagon, maybe this size. Shape outline, make it no outline. I'm just going to change the background color. I'm going to use something light gray color where you can have something like this which is 216, 217 and 219 the color code and for this also I'm just going to give some different color maybe I'll just give a light color maybe later on we can just uh, change the color I'm going to add one more shape go to insert shapes select this shape which is in the block arrows arrow pentagon draw the shape go to format rotate make it flip horizontal and exactly bring it here make sure that the height and width uh, same and just zoom it and where you can see this small uh, this orange uh, dot just drag it towards the outside and make sure that these two lines which are having the same crossing the same line yeah I think this is better remove the outline and make sure that this is all right and then you can just change the color so I'm going to use uh, say the same color as of now and then I'm just going to insert shapes and select a rectangle draw the rectangle and reduce the size again give some dark color make it no outline and by using the arrow the alt and the left arrow key you can just can you see you can just bend the line I'm just bringing it here so make sure that this line actually covers let's increase the size just adjust it maybe you can reduce the size now let's add some color to this shape for that select gradient fill I'm going to use two stops one is I will just select for example I'll go to more colors and I'm going to select the orange and this also direction also you can just change the direction for example I want the orange to be somewhere here and then you can use maybe a yellow color right or whichever color combination you like it you can uh, use that one and for this also I'm just going to select the same uh, this particular line and using the gradient fill and for this I will say you can just say maybe like this or, or maybe I need the yellow at the bottom all right and this color orange color I'm going to make it white all right and for this I'm just going to change a different color which I'm going to use something say sky blue with the color codes are 233 241 and 244 I'm going to add some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes and select this uh, right triangle draw the triangle and you can just say simply uh, flip vertical and just bring it here maybe just increase the size alright 
and then I'm just going to make it no outline and I'm going to cut this extra portion which is which is going outside so let me just all right so for that I'm going to use maybe a, a triangle and then just bring exactly here I'm going to select this particular shape and then the triangle and just say subtract I will say send back and then I can give a gradient fill for that I'm going to use say a, a black color and for this I'm going to use a white color and the transparency level I'm going to increase full and this black also I'm just going to make something like this now let's reduce the size and then I'm going to group it bring it here and just press ctrl D you can add three here then I'm just going to select shape I'm going to select a rectangle again make it no outline and go to shadow effect and select which is offset left increase the distance and increase the blur size as well all right this also i'm just going to make the same color which is this color you can use the eyedropper and just add this color add one more rectangle shape and i'm just going to hide you can see the other this area for that make it no outline and shape the same if you see that has been hidden then i can just go and change some different colors here for that i'm going to use maybe a blue and for this i'm going to use maybe some lighter color so you can use uh, any combination and for this also you just go and change the color which is this color all right and then i'm going to select one of these press ctrl d rotate say flip horizontal and bring it here press ctrl d and bring it one more here and then as i said you can just go and change the colors apart from that one you can just simply add the numbers i'm just going to copy the numbers this is one now this is two then you can just change the color according to the color what you have selected here likewise you can just add three four and five and then you can see here i have just added some text also this also text i can just simply copy here and if you have the icons which i have added here you can just add the icons here all right so that's it from me friends hope you like this uh, tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel osvfx see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye